Hi, this is George Alger. Welcome to today's segment of Arventura TV. Today we're going to be speaking about the spay and neuter animal network. And joining us is Jordan Eller. Welcome, Jordan. And just to make sure we're all on the same page, can you give us a brief definition of spay and neuter? Ah, good morning, George. Nice to be here today. Um, spay and neutering is basically um, corrective surgery to stop the reproduction of uh, dog or cats. Um, it's basically a, a problem here in our community, um, the, uh, especially with cats and dogs that are, um, you know, that uh, can overpopulate our area very quickly. Okay, so let's speak more about the spay and neuter animal network. What do you guys do? So it was founded back in 1997, 98 by four women from Ojai. Um, their mission was uh, don't let them be born to suffer. And that's a great mission statement for it because that's what we're doing. Um, animals that um, might not have a great future if they were to reproduce, um, especially feral cats, um, can become a problem. And if they're not well cared for it, uh, once they're brought into this world, they will have suffering. So I think that's a great mission statement that we have. Very good. So people bring their dogs and cats to you to get spayed and neutered. Correct. There's several um, animal hospitals in our area that we work with um, that uh, provide these services. Um, more for low income uh, people, there's no paperwork involved as well. Um, we offer mobile clinics. Um, we do that four times a month. And then we also have other um, veterinary hospitals that we work with as well that can take people into their brick and mortar uh, facilities. Okay, so would it be accurate to say then that the spay and neuter animal network facilitates the opportunity to spay and neuter animals, but the surgery is actually done at other locations? Correct. So um, it's a great resource for the community because we can offer these services to spay and neuter animals for a discounted price. So they contact us. Uh, we give them the information to go to these hospitals or also information about when we hold these mobile um, clinics. Mobile clinics are held in Oxnard, Fillmore and Ventura, like I said, on Tuesdays. If um, an individual would like to come down and bring their animal to be spayed or neutered, the cost to them is only $10. Um, over the course of um, one year, we did, I believe, 1,300 animals at a, at a cost to us of almost eight, of over $80,000. So um, we raise the money to be able to help these animals and their owners um, through our um, thrift shop, which is located there on 110 Olive Street in Ventura. And uh, people come in and give donations. And in turn, we collect that money through our sales. And then we subsidize these uh, surgeries for our community. Good. So this is a perhaps perfect segue into speaking about your group as a nonprofit. So um, you have the store. And are there other ways that uh, people can help, whether it's through direct donations or volunteering? Right, so uh, direct donations, like I said, we have a thrift store there on 110 Olive Street. That's kind of behind the um, bonds down there on the avenue. Um, people are welcome to bring in donations. We especially like hard goods, um, you know, kitchen stuff, tools sell very quickly. Uh, clothing is kind of our bread and butter, uh, but you can imagine to sell, uh, to raise $80,000 that we give back to these clinics, that's a lot of $1 t-shirts. Very good. Okay, so coming back to the animals, if someone, you know, is interested in the idea of having their own pet spayed or neutered, but maybe they're concerned that it's, it might be, or might hurt their pet, what, what, you know, what can you offer them as some advice? Um, medically, I can't offer any advice. Of course, all animals are different depending on their age, their size, their weight. So um, I would refer them to speak with one of the vet, vet technicians and say, you know, this is possible. These are the possible ramifications. Usually there aren't any, um, but there are some breeds that um, like uh, Frenchies, for example, that have the short nose and they have a, what's called BAS and we're not able to help those owners. Um, so that's one of the one of the things that we um, do though overall though most animals and dogs we are able to offer that service to very good now do you have any way to uh, service let's say feral dogs and cats 
Mm -hmm. So um, Valerie is the um, head of our organization and she's very passionate about getting feral cats. Um, we have, or have another group that goes and traps these animals as well and brings them in and fixes them. Um, in fact, Valerie was just telling me a story about there was a bottling plant off the avenue and I believe there was 30 or 40 cats in that facility that were all caged, brought in, and um, you know we were able to um, spay and neuter them. So we're able to keep that population down because they're living basically off of rats there. Ah, uh, okay. Can you speak um, a little broader about the benefits of spaying and neuter, whether it's specifically for one's household or for the community at large? Well, for one's household, I mean, that's different. It's, we know cats, they, they like to get out and go do their thing. And unfortunately, if you've got a male cat, it can do its thing quite a bit. Um, and that leads to unwanted populations. And it goes back to the mission statement of the company or the organization again, is to don't let them be born to suffer. And if you know you have a litter of cats and you don't want them, well, where do they go? Or dogs or any animal. Um, so by controlling the population, we'll see less of these animals out there in our community that are suffering. Okay. Now, Jordan, when you're out and about talking to people and you tell them that you are involved with the spay and neuter animal network, what is the most common question that you get? Um, well, um, I've been a volunteer there for, I think, nine months now. Hmm. So I recently got promoted to corporate spokesperson. Uh, I normally do the dog food there, <laughs> dog and cat food. That's a big seller of ours. Um, we bring in dog and cat food. Um, so I, that's um, the most questions I get is what do we do and what, how can I help? And like I said, donation of hard goods at our store at 110 Olive Street is always a big help. Uh, we do like volunteers um, to come in. We're open five days a week, various hours though, because uh, we are all volunteers. Um, so we are looking for volunteers and if you're interested, please come down to the store. Very good. Now, can you speak a little bit more about the connection between your nonprofit and the various vets around the, I guess, is it around the county? Mm -hmm. So there's, um, vets that we use, um, that have agreed to help out with this cause. Um, they, um, give us a discounted rate that we pay and then we schedule them for instance how the procedure would work is someone would call us and say that they have an animal that they'd like to spay or neuter um, we take the information down have them contact one of the three animal hospitals that they work with they schedule it and then come back with us and we contribute to we subsidize that that procedure okay very good so jordan we're just about out of time here i'm wondering if you have a summating message that you might offer to the viewers and also could you please provide the website address that viewers could go to for more information sure i believe the website is um just span.org that's s-p-a-n.org um and this is actually it's a great resource for the community i've been involved in other volunteer stuff and i'm a huge animal lover and all of our supporters are as well um, and it's something that's definitely needed in our community. Uh, it's a great cause. If you'd like to support it, come on down, go to span.org, visit, visit us down on Olive Street, bring your donations and bring yourself if you'd like to volunteer. Thank you so much, Jordan. We're going to wrap things up now. Okay. Thanks, George. This is George Alger signing off for this segment of Arventura TV. Until we meet again.